Hello and welcome to our tutorial on tagging and deleting emails from archive with the help of Veritas Altai Discovery. This session will guide you through managing your email archives effectively. We will cover discovery tagging and demonstrate how to collaborate effectively with our support team. Now let's log in to Veritas Alta eDiscovery. Tagging is your first step in organizing and tagging action on your stored emails. Whether it's for selective retention, deletion, or legal requirements, tags will streamline the process. You will need to go to the investigation section and select new search for managed accounts. Here you can specify the criteria to filter those emails that you want to tag and delete permanently. I will select those emails that have been archived over 10 years ago. May 24, May 15, clicking on search. And after locating the emails, we need to tag them. Tags are powerful markers that help you and our support team quickly identify the emails in question. Clicking on the tag and selecting all emails. Now, all you need to do is to enter a name and save your changes by clicking on tag. Once emails are tagged, you will need to reach out for support. So you will need to go to veritas.com slash support, and then you will need to create a case with us. Clicking on create case, you will need to log in and then create a case. Accuracy is key in your support request. You will need to include clear written consent acknowledging the actions to be taken on the tagged emails. Remember, depending on your selections, these actions can be permanent. Next, we will explore how to directly delete emails using our Privilege Delete feature within eDiscovery, specifically targeting older emails with attachments. This allows you to manage your archives efficiently without needing to involve our support team. So returning to Veritas Altai Discovery, and I will need the new criterion for the attachment in the search. As attachment, yes, search. <clears throat> Once you have applied your filters, the system will display a list of emails that meet your criteria. You will need to carefully review these emails to ensure they are eligible for deletion. Due to system constraints and to maintain operational integrity, you can delete up to 300 emails per request. After selecting the emails, let's select a few, you will be able to delete them by clicking on the delete button. Please be care careful when doing this because this action is permanent and cannot be undone. So make sure you have reviewed all selected emails thoroughly before proceeding. If you have more than 300 emails that meet the deletion criteria, you will need to repeat this process in batches. This method ensures accuracy and allows for careful management of your email archives. Now let's discuss emails that are on legal hold. Managing email, emails that are subject to legal hold requires careful attention. Let's walk through the process of handling and potentially deleting these emails from your archives, ensuring compliance with legal requirements. To begin, let's go to the a discovery dashboard. Here you can identify emails currently under legal hold by navigating to the legal hold section and quickly click on the legal button and legal hold button and you now can view and manage these emails that are currently subject to legal hold. These emails cannot be altered or deleted without proper authorization. If an email status changes and it can be removed from legal hold, you can update or remove the tag directly from this dashboard. Should you need to delete emails that are no longer required to be held, first ensure you have the necessary legal permissions. After confirming, select the appropriate emails and update their tags. Remove the legal hold to reflect 
the new status. Now you can move on and proceed with the deletion process through our support team or through privilege delete. And that's it. You now know how to delete emails through eDiscovery, both with the help of our support team and also through privilege delete feature on your own. Thank you for watching. And if you have any further questions or need any more guidance, our support team is ready to help. Thank you for watching. Bye.